May 3rd, the attitude of ingratitude. Exodus chapter 15 verse 24. And the people murmured against Moses saying, What shall we drink? Hot springs and cold springs are found side by side in some parts of Mexico. Because of the convenience of this natural phenomenon, women often bring their laundry to such places so they can boil their clothes in the hot springs and then rinse them in the cold ones. A tourist who was watching this procedure commented to his Mexican guide, I imagine they think Mother Nature is pretty generous to supply such ample, clean, hot and cold water here side by side for their free use. The guide replied, No, senor. There is much grumbling because she supplies no soap. Ingratitude is not limited to Mexican peasants. Israel demonstrated the same attitude. God had just performed some awe-inspiring miracles for his people's benefit. He had slain the firstborn of Egypt so that Pharaoh would free the Israelites. He had provided a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire at night to guide their journey. He had opened the Red Sea for them to cross and brought it crashing back on the Egyptian army pursuing them. Yet when they hit their first snag, instead of trusting God, they turned to complaining. Times of need are times for praying, not complaining. Complaining says to God, you aren't taking very good care of me. Prayer says to God, I may not understand what's happening, but I trust you to take care of me. Do you feel life is treating you unfairly? Are you tempted to complain? Try this. Take a notebook and list some of the marvelous things God has already done in your life, such as providing your salvation, a measure of health, a supportive family, and an inspired Bible. Then look with confidence that He will provide for your situation today as well. Nothing cures ingratitude as quickly as a good memory. Amen.